All right guys, for those of you that don't own a Nissan, like my Honda friends, uh, this video will not apply, so skip this one altogether, and don't worry, there'll be more Honda stuff coming soon. But for anybody that has the Zs or the uh, any of the VQ platform stuff, there's only like a few different ways to tune this. One's to put a standalone in, which I covered some of that on the How to Turbo a Z project. The other one is to get like a flash tuning program of some sort. So I had somebody in the comment section ask me if I could just show them how to um, add the ARC license, which is part of the UpRev program. So um, UpRev, in case you guys aren't familiar, it's probably the most cost-effective way to tune your Nissan Z or G platform car, and eventually the Qs, I would imagine. Um, so with that being said, it's pretty easy to use, but in case, just in case you didn't know how, I can show you guys really quick. That way if there's any confusion, if you live in a town that doesn't have like a tuner close and you're gonna be like, buying the cable from UpRev and flashing it on yourself. I can maybe just walk you through it really quick because it's, it's simple, but if you don't know, it might take you like way longer than it needs to, to like kind of figure out like how to get the stock tune file and how the platform kind of works. This way you just get like right into the software and flash it. So anybody that doesn't uh, have a, you know, like a Nissan Z or a G car, I'll see you guys in the next video, but anybody else who's like more curious about this kind of stuff and the tuning things, eventually on this channel I may show you guys some of the ins and outs of actual dyno tuning uh, with UpRev. As I get more of these under my belt, I can show you some of the tricks that have worked to make horsepower and whatnot. And um, I'm hoping to like really narrow in on what mods tend to make the best gains for your money so that you guys can just get straight to going fast. So anyway. Uh, Let's take a look at this really quick. I'll try to shoot the screen as best as I can so you guys can see. I'm not good at doing this kind of tutorial, but um, bear with me and I'll show you the best I can. Okay, like the first thing that you should probably remember is that when you're flashing these cars, turn all your accessories, anything that drains power, turn it off. So headlights, stereo, uh, AC, make sure your fans aren't running. And you know, obviously if you have like a weak battery or something, that's probably not a good time to flash. So make sure that you have full power. Otherwise your ECU could lock up mid flash. If it doesn't completely finish and the battery was to get too low or die, you might have an issue. <clears throat> Just be aware of that. I've never had it happen. Always make sure to follow the prompts and keep the battery high. It will tell you if there's too much battery load anyway. So, that's the first thing. The second thing is um, obviously like plug in your cable, which goes just down under the dash. Uh, they're located in different spots. His is actually not attached to the panel like it's supposed to be, but we can still plug it in and it'll work. Um, the second thing you need to do, now that you've got um, the program downloaded from you know UpRev or whatever, you'll come into their uh, software and then I'll try to show you. Right down here it says get stock or get tune and stock files. If you click on this one, it brings up this prompt right here. Go ahead and move this over to the side and then look right here. There's, I don't know, you probably can't see my cursor, but it says like after you've hooked up and turned your key on, it will read the ECU and it gives you your ECU part number. Use those last like five digits right here. Oops, I clicked out of it. Um, and you just type those into this my ROM box and that will pull up your ROM. So this one is a CD002. And then you just hit search, and then bam, it pulls them up. Uh, actually, pulls up a CD003. Oh, but this is the update for that. That way, you have them both highlighted, and then you hit download selected ROMs now that we've got both of them. Go ahead and download them somewhere I can find them in a minute. And if you notice, one of them says um, it's just the Osiris ROM. And one of them says it's the back to stock ROM. So this way you have both of them saved on your computer. This one obviously allows you just to flash the car back to stock if you ever had a need to do that. And this one right here is the one that you start your tune with. If you're going to be sending data logs back and forth to UpRev or whatever, you'll start with this. Or if you're going to a pro tuner, that's the tune file that they will start with. So if you've already got this done, you'll be able to open this file here in a minute. Okay, so we've downloaded those now. So we basically... Um, if you notice, it'll it'll give you up here, like, it'll tell you what you've got left. I, I have a pro cable, so it's the same as your guys' as I imagine. It'll just give you how many licenses. I have one ARC license left and one pro license left. So I can flash one more vehicle until I, you know, 
uh, submit you know like payment or whatever and I can get a bunch more licenses for my next customers but this will tell you how many more you have left once you once you flash that tune file into the actual car then um, it will change what it says here and it will say arc license or or pro license whatever like whatever your license is it'll say that it's you know zero quantity zero so <clears throat> this is the next part you'll want to do you'll um, flash tune file so you'll have to go in and find where you just put those two files which I think it just goes in my download see it has that CD003 CD003 we don't want to put it back to stock obviously because it's already stock so we're gonna select this one right here which is the uh, editable file you're gonna open this one and it says warning you are about to flash a stock ECU with up rev tune file this will require removal of one license for your cable that's just like a little thing letting you know that yeah you're about to use what you got and then you just go ahead and flash it it, and it will just kinda do it for you and it's freaking hot in here I wish the AC was on while this is happening you can hear the fans kick on um, it, it's going through different processes in the ECU to load the actual file it doesn't actually take that long um, I've tuned other cars that take way longer to load files this is actually a fairly quick tuning process, even when I'm flashing multiple times throughout a dyno session. But it's already 53, 55%. So we're almost done. I mean, we're doing this in real time. My camera says five minutes. So this does not take long at all. Once we get this tune file flashed on there, the question that my subscriber had was how do you load the arc features and that's pretty easy but I'm gonna show you right now okay no pro licenses remaining ECU ready now you can go to edit tune file so then you'll go grab your file again the one that we just flashed in the CD 003 and you'll open it and now what you have is your actual editable tune file so this you'll notice down here uh, this is where we're getting into the arc license stuff so the arc license you would think that the process is like you would you would go get an arc license file and flash it on but it's not quite like that because basically arc is written into the into the tune file so you have to open your tune file and then select the arc stuff that you want to add and once you flash that then it uh, will subtract from your license basically and it will be added to your ROM and you'll have it from there on out. So I'll show you right now. So basically like down here, I hope you guys can see it. Um, let's see, arc toggles. So right here's all your features like rolling anti-lag, burnout mod, flat foot shifting, and launch control. These are probably some of my like favorite things to mess with. Um, they're kind of like very usable and um, like just so worth the money so I'm gonna go ahead and enable all these on this one and then I'm gonna save the ROM as CD003 um, with arc I'll probably like rename it later let's see um, anyway I'll save that here for now and then I can go ahead and uh, I can f hit flash and it will start the reflashing process over that's exactly like um, how we flash the ROM it'll have you cycle the key off and back on and when it comes back on um, these things will all be input into the ECU and um, right over here it will say no arc licenses remaining now this particular customer is uh, not actually needing an arc license like right at this moment so I'm not going to actually hit flash and flash that in there but that's how you would do it. So uh, I hope that helps. And um, I mean, happy tuning. So uh, I've been having a ton of fun with the uprev stuff. Uh, my favorite feature is probably the cruise control rolling anti-lag. I think it's set up really, really well from the uprev guys. Um, the second, my second favorite, oh, now this is probably my first favorite. Rolling out the leg is like a good thing for people to use on the street, but for as a tuner, like for me, my favorite thing is they did something called simplified timing, where it gives you like an actual 
uh, like RPM based like timing table just like in every other standalone or regular ECU that I tune which is an amazing difference you can just tell it what timing value to hit and it hits it, it makes tuning super quick and you can actually like hit the number that you know the car needs so when you're sitting on a dyno you can get right to the horsepower as fast as possible um, I hope that helps you guys I hope you're able to like at least flash your stuff until you can get to a, a tuning place like a like an authorized pro dealer or somebody that can help you with the tune or uh, you know communicate back and forth uh, with the service through uprev to get your car tuned but um, anyway I'll see you guys in the next video you guys take it easy